In front of its owner, the legendary was Sir Zidler. Right, Hibbert. Who's next? <laughs> that? I did, sir. Allow me to introduce myself, Joseph Pujol, Le Petomain. Where are all the others? He's driven them all away. I'm a very busy man. I can give you two minutes. What do you do? I, sir, am an impressionist. Get out. I've got hundreds of them. One moment, sir. I am not an ordinary impressionist. I am unique. In fact, I'll go further. I'm fantastic. I am an anal impressionist. Pardon? Permit me to explain. The good Lord has seen fit to bless me with an elastic anus, such that I am able to open and close it at will. Consequently, I can inhale vast quantities of air. You breathe through your arse? In a way, yes. And by controlling the muscles, I can expel the air and so produce a variety of different sounds. Now, just one moment. Let me get this quite straight. You're telling me that you can fart. Now, that is a word I prefer not to use. Sir. I am an artist. I give demonstrations of petomania. Will you allow me to illustrate them? First, I inhaled the air. Right. I'm ready. Absolutely unnecessary. My performance is odorless. One thing the critics cannot say of Le Petomain's performance is that it stinks. First, I give you the tenor voice. The baritone. The bass. The soprano. And the harmony. And now, sir, in the key of C sharp minor. That's fantastic. Can you play La Marseillaise? So Zidler signed him on the spot, and he opened that same night. He was an instant success. <laughs> I'm not following him. It's ridiculous. <laughs> How do you expect me to get lost after that? <laughs> Either you put me on in the first half, or you pay me off now. <laughs> the Fermain's success was sealed. The newspapers next morning raved about the new attraction. Offers poured in from all over Europe. None of which he could accept because of his exclusive contract with the Moulin Rouge. But there was one thing even the great Zidler had overlooked. The wind-up gramophone and the flat disc had arrived. The new wonder of the age. The world's greatest artists flocked to the studios to be immortalized on wax. Caruso. Dame Clara Butt. And the most famous of them all. Can we have a sample for balance, please? Would you mind moving a little further away, please? Right. Try the man in the bath.
Perfect. Right, quiet everybody. We're going for a take. Are you ready, my dear? Yes. Good luck, Joseph. After four. His records sold in their thousands. In one week, Debussy doubled his royalties on Claire de Lune. <laughs> there were, of course, many important personages who couldn't afford to be seen in public witnessing such an act. So, for their benefit, Pujol would give private performances. And, gentlemen, no trickery. Oh. A particular favourite of mine, sir, the San Francisco earthquake. The Baron Rothschild. <laughs> <coughs> Leopold, King of the Belgians. <laughs> and representing the greatest power on earth, the future King of England. His Royal Highness Edward, Prince of Wales. Pujol's first royal command performance. Thank you, thank you. You're most kind. And now, to conclude the evening's entertainment, gentlemen, your Royal Highnesses, I have enough left for... Yes, just one more. <laughs> Whatever you wish, sir. I, I will attempt anything within my range. <laughs> my mother's gilly sitting on his bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little allowance to hide one night in a table at Balmoral. <laughs>